Hello. I wanted to do a quick instructional video on how we need to make sure that students are set up properly in Moby Max. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have an account with Moby Max. If you do, please just be patient for a second and let me make sure to explain how to get an account to those that may not have one. For those who do not have an account, you would go to MobyMax.com and click have a license. Here you would type in your first name, your last name, make sure that teacher is checked. The school zip code is 30814 and then you would be given the option to have a drop down and choose North Harlem Elementary. Then you would type in your school email address and create a password then hit register free. For those that already have an account or those that just now created an account you would just simply click sign in. Now I'm going to use someone else's account that is blank so that I do not publish any of the students that I have and I didn't want to have to go back and delete them out. So once you go in, usually Moby Max will put up a quick tip on some different things that you can do. Um, in this case, uh, I would just click that X and it would say that I need to get started registering my students. So you click the roster button and it will tell you that you need to register new students. Now the easiest way that I think I've found to be able to do this is just to hit bulk register students and then choose option one. Now if you have already entered your students, again like I said, just hang with me for a few minutes and then I'll tell you some of the things that you need to change so that next year we can simply promote students and not have to go back in and recreate entire classes. So I would hit continue and then here you're going to type in your student's first name and then you would type in a student ID. The student ID that we would like for you to type in is the student's uh, lunch number, which you can find by going to Infinite Campus and printing off a roster or simply just go through and ask all your students what their uh, lunch number is. And I'm just going to create a, a, a student. Of course, you could leave grade level blank, uh, but it would be very helpful if you're either going to add it now or you can add it later. If you haven't, then I'll show you how to, if you have your students registered but have not put a grade level, I'll show you how to do that in just a second as well. And so then I would simply hit register students and then it'll tell me that all my students were registered. So now that I have students registered up to this point, if you have already, like I said, registering, then the best thing to do is just to go in at each student you will see this this little gear uh, all your students will have that gear icon and so I would click that student gear icon and I would go in and I would lose, choose their grade level and then if you go ahead and enter in the students student ID which would be their lunch number keep the username the same that the computer has given them and then the password go in and make sure that that password becomes that student ID that you just entered a second ago and the reason that is is because if we allow the username and the password to be the same which a lot of us have in the past what we found is that students figured out that everyone's username and their password was the same and so when they would go to a computer they would type in or when they would go to type in and they would put their cursor over the username of course it would pop up all these different ones that they like if they hit a J it could be John 508 it could be James 1633 it could be you know anything that started with a J because the computer was saving the username and the kids figured out that the password was the same and they would enter that password in now they weren't going into anyone's account and causing you know any kind of havoc or or doing anything you know bad to that person's account but what they were doing is going in and playing other students game time and so when that original student would go back to their account they would say Mr. Mac there's no game time I know that I had eight or ten fifteen minutes worth of game time but now it's gone 
And so we came up with a solution of going and making sure that the student ID and the password are that student's lunch number. And then you would hit save and then you hit the X out. And of course now you'd have to go in and do the second student and third student. Now I know it sounds like a lot but it's really not. It doesn't take but maybe 10 or 15 minutes of your time to go in and make sure that you change the password and the ID. Now once you have that what you'll need to do is go in and print either a parent letter or a login card so that the students will be able to take this home and use it. Now younger grades you might want to print both. You may want to print a parent letter since the parents aren't necessarily familiar with how we use Moby Max and then you could so you'd print the parent letter and then you could go back and create the student login card. The, the program goes in and it auto fills all this stuff. So right now like I only have one name here but of course you would have a, a list of names. Just select all and then hit print. Now I'm going to print it to a PDF so that you can see what they look like. And so you would have these student login cards and like you can see that it has entered in our school code, it's entered the username and the password and of course you could just cut that out and I think it does four to a page. You could cut that out and go ahead and staple it or glue it into the, the student's planner, have them do it. And then of course, like I said, those parent letters you could send them to their house. After you have printed that, you would just click that and then you can go back to home. If you have any questions, please just email me and I'll do the best I can to answer you as promptly as I can. And also, maybe come by your classroom and help uh, see if we can figure some things out. Thank you so much for watching and uh, this way we'll save some time next year and just easily promote. Thanks again.